What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a UI challenge video guys. In this video, let's go ahead and create these two uh, screens, okay. Or we'll just focus on this screen. This is a screen that we have already done, I mean, uh, so we have done similar screens on this channel, right? It's nothing but a uh, few lines of text and a few images. There's nothing fancy in this, whereas this screen looks more fancy compared to this one, right? If there is time, uh, we'll do both the screens. I mean, I don't want to make this video too long, that's it. Let's get started with the screen on the left. Okay, for now, let's get started with the screen on the left. This looks really uh, fancy and, uh, you know, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. It, it will look awesome on a mobile device, right? Let's try to recreate the screen. If you split this, uh, the split the components in this screen, uh, you'll see that this there is this image and uh, there is a text overlaid on top of this image. There is a notifications, I mean, menu icon along with a small dot that indicates notifications probably. There's also a welcome message and a search bar and uh, uh, options, options for uh, food and drinks, right? So let's go ahead and try to replicate this entire design onto our mobile device using Flutter. I have scaffolded out a basic application, a blank application here, uh, just like I do. And uh, in the assets directory, I have some fonts and some images. And I've also added those in the pubspec.yaml file, just like we do. Let's go ahead and try to, let's start with the image. Let's start with the image and this black thing. Okay. Uh, let me just, we'll give a background color of black. Fine. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, on the body we'll have this view. We'll have a stack since we are going to be uh, having an image at the bottom and then some mm, button on top and as well as text to overlay on top of that image as well. So let's go ahead and make use of a stack. A stack, I'll, for the first child I'll give is a container that will have, wait, I'll show you. Some height of some 400 units. Okay. And the next thing uh, this stack will contain is a, uh, the image. So for the image, if you notice carefully, the image, the bottom of the image kind of blends in with the black color, the background back, black color as well, right? So how do we do this? We should be able to achieve this effect, right? Fortunately, in Flutter, we have a very simple and effective way to do this. It's called, uh, it, it, it's, there's a widget called shader mask. Okay. If we use that, we can make, uh, achieve this effect very easily. Shader ma mask itself, that widget shader mask itself has a lot of other uh, extra options as well. Probably I'll make a video, an entire video on that particular, on that particular uh, widget alone. Shader mask widget alone, that one widget alone, I'll make a uh, separate video later on. For now, let's just go ahead and use it. I'll just show you how to use it. Shader mask, uh, shader callback, sorry, shader callback. Uh, this will be a function. And inside the function, I will just return a linear gradient. Begin alignment dot, sorry, alignment dot top center uh, end alignment dot alignment dot bottom center and uh, colors this I'll have an array colors dot black colors dot transparent transparent fine and uh, I'll use a function called create shader create shade, sorry, create shader, uh, right, dot from left, top, right, bottom, zero, comma, zero, comma, uh, rectangle dot width, rectangle dot height. Fine, so this grader, uh, gradient will be applied from top center to the bottom center and it will be up wait i'll show you uh, after this i'll just use the blend mode blend mode uh, blend mode dot d s fine and uh, mm, 
now I need to specify the image as well right so I'll give child uh, image image dot asset uh, assets Tokyo dot jpg and I'll give it a height of some 300 units fit would be box fit dot cover fine save this let's run this on a mobile device and see whether we are able to achieve, achieve that uh, particular effect this effect all right guys oh wow this looks really good on the mobile device right now we have created this particular effect using the shader mask widget uh, let's remove the debug label since that looks really awkward fine uh, now let's go ahead and try to overlay this particular uh, where is it overlay this particular text on top of the image Japan it's written Japan right let's go ahead and try to overlay that particular uh, text on top of the image so for that what we need to do is we'll use a rotated box okay we need to have some text and then rotate it to uh, one side right so we'll use a rotated box for that after this shader, the shader mask widget alone, like I said before, I'll make a separate video on that one particular widget alone, guys. It has a plenty of, I mean, it has a large amount of options that you can use while you are trying to uh, play around with images in your Flutter applications, not just images for other. Uh, I'll make a separate video on that, okay. Uh, so after this, I'll just go ahead and uh, use a rotated box, rotated box. And inside this, I'll have a quarter turns rotated box is nothing but we can have some text and then simply rotate that text i'll show you quarter turns i'll give three okay and uh, uh, inside this we'll just be having a text fine all i've done is added some text and then uh, simply given some uh, the given the letter spacing as 10 so that the text looks really spaced out now let's just uh, save this and see how this looks on the mobile device wow it looks really good right i don't know if you can see this on the video but on the mobile device it's really awesome guys the effect is really awesome now uh, we have uh, created the uh, text overlay on this particular image as well the next thing we'll need to do is place this uh, round button as well as a small notifications dot on that particular menu button as well for this since we are uh, playing around with a stack we can simply place these two uh, on that on top of each other on the stack itself right and it'll look like that for that we'll just use a couple of position widgets after this rotated box i'll just go ahead and add you can see here it looks really good right you can see this on the mobile device as well right similarly we have the need icon is not exactly the same but uh, you you get the concept right if you get this icon you can place it obviously in the middle of the uh, button you also have the small notification start on top right the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to bring in these two lines of text this is nothing but a couple of lines of text so i'll just skip the recording here and then add those two lines of text i'm just going to be using position widgets once again to place the text exactly wh where i want it to be on the screen uh, as you can see here, I have given the welcome to Tokyo, Japan, right? Save this, see how this looks on the mobile device. This is just nothing but, I'm just placing a couple of lines of text, guys. There's nothing fancy in this, okay? There's nothing to show in this. Then let's go ahead and do this particular uh, search box. This search box is nothing but a container that has a text field inside it. And the text field decoration will have a uh, prefix icon as well as some hint text. That's it. Let's go ahead and do this.
all right guys uh, this is done i have simply added this particular uh, text field wait i'll show you this particular text field let's see how this looks on the mobile device wow it looks really awesome right now we have a nice looking text field in the middle and then we have some text inside the hint text inside that as well just like we have on our design spec right let's go ahead and probably it's a bit uh, tall right yeah oh, anyway uh, let's go ahead and uh, do these options the food options as well food options what we'll do is we'll add animated content use animated containers guys if you notice carefully uh, the selected item is a bit larger than the rest of the items right that's exactly uh, what's happening here uh, right uh, if we just skip these lines and then use animated containers in rows then i think we could achieve this effect easily let's go ahead and code that and by, when i finish coding it i'll uh, explain it step by step okay one of these options and then uh, let's see how this looks on the mobile device before proceeding cool right it looks awesome we'll just build two more of these and then see how this looks or we'll just wow this looks really good right now all we need to do is uh, main axis alignment main axis alignment space evenly fine all we need to do is this and then now if you save this file it will look like uh, those options are neatly arranged on the screen just like we can see here now all we need to do is create more rows like this that's it so i'll just have two more rows for uh, nine options now it should automatically select as you can see here burger is automatically selected for me right we have a beautiful set of options and burger is automatically selected if i select meat i'll just tap on meat nothing happens because i haven't written anything in the on tap method here so I, all i need to do is select uh, menu option something that what was that function name that we used select menu option select menu option uh, food name yeah save this once this finishes synchronizing Now, if we tap on some other option, wow, you get that nice looking effect, right? This is our original design spec and the screen that we have created here is now available on the mobile device. And not only that, we have created a selectable uh, set of options as well with a nice looking animated effect as well. That's it guys. We have almost recreated this entire uh, screen on the design spec here we just didn't uh, create these lines that's it but other than that we have a nice looking set of options that we can use if we double tap maybe we can write another function to double tap and then show this uh, details page as well and we also have a search bar and this nice looking welcome image uh, and a text in the middle and a uh, menu button along with a small notification start on the right top as well so yeah, this is exactly what we I wanted to show you guys today in this video. 
and uh, this is a fancy screen that we achieved using uh, in a very short span of time uh, using flutter right so yeah guys this is, exa this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today if you uh, like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button okay if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you have any doubts in this particular video kindly leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel guys subscribe to my channel it's really free and uh, click on the bell notifications icon so that you receive uh, content notifications each and every time i upload a video in that case you won't miss out on any of my videos right i have planned a lot large amount of good stuff for you guys i have also uh, even in this uh, particular video i said i'll make another video for the shader mask widget and uh, also there are other couple of cool widgets that i wanted to show you guys today uh, for instance the animated container we have been seeing in the past couple of videos right similarly there are animated position widget and there is an animated switcher widget both are excellent both have uh, i mean both create excellent effects when used along with the screen elements i'll show both of those in separate videos as well okay so yeah i have a lot of uh, my point is i have a lot of content planned for you guys along the way so kindly subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel hit the like button and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye